Chase walked forward, the rest of the Paw Patrol followed behind him. Across the runaway, Applejack sighed. This will end well. She then took a step forward. Almost everyone immediately lead by the rest of Twilight's team. After for a bit, Chase's walk turned to a jog and then turned to a run. They're not stopping, Humdrum shouted. Then we won't either, Twilight told him. Their own walk was transformed into a sprint, and everyone else followed the suit with Twilight, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Darling Do, Daring Do, and Spike catching a fight. The others then charged around the lawn side, picking up speed. Sky's wings shot out, and the pup kicking off the ground and catching the flight as just as easy as Twilight and the others had. She took it back quickly, seeing Cozy Glow spread at her wings and launching herself into the air. That was the saw before she faced towards one forward once more, and once more to the cl clash, and then the two enemies, Archimedes, were closing in. And then their two armies finally set in. It was the sound of thunder destroying everything in the path. When Chase's claw came down on Twilight's force field, it was like nails on a chalkboard. Each fighter had their eye on a specific opponent. Rarity was shooting beams at Sky, but she was way too fast. Soon Sky pinned Rarity down and looked in awe. Wow, I can't believe it that I'm faced to the with a Rarity. Sky squealed. By the way, you're so my most favorite. Um, thanks, Rarity said before using her telekinesis to get Sky off of her, who surprisingly seemed amazed that she could actually use the magic grasp on her favorite pony. Tempest was struggling to catch Tuck right before her kept shrinking and moving too fast. Rubble picked up the truck and threw it at Applejack, who just raised her hand over her hoof and punched it. The truck was completely destroyed. What? Rubble shouted in shock. She blocked it with her punch? Applejack then smirked and used the lasso to tie up the dog. How do you take them, apples? Applejack asked. Rubble responded by growling and ripping off the rope. Applejack stared in amazement. Ah, that's one tough puppy. Pinky was having a little difficulty keeping up with the weapons. Rocky was summoning. You mind me green that green lantern guy? Pinky said. Are your powers inspired by him? How do I get powers like that? I don't know if you've been even being able to fight each other, but it's usually with not this much talking, Rocky said, trying to shut the pink mare up. But, but, but of course, Spike kept on trying to catch to Cozy without causing any damage to her body. But Cozy would deliver a punch right to his face every now and then. Damn, this is even more annoying than the thought Spyro. Later, Rainbow Dash was dodging Marshall's fireballs. Starlight was encountering Everest Ice Breath. And Zuma was using her water abilities to keep Fluttershy at distance. Soon Chase had enough. Ella, now! After he gave the call, Ella activated her power and grew the size of a Captain Turbo's boat, shocking everyone in Twilight's team. Holy hell! Rainbow Dash screamed. She was so distracted by the giant pup that she didn't notice a fireball heading right towards her. Marshall had shot down the Pegasus down, and Rainbow landed into a pile of crates. Sky eventually shook Rarity off and drove towards Spike, ramming him into a helicopter that exploded on impact. Twilight! Spike shouted in pain, causing Twilight to turn. Spike, no! Twilight shouted, seeing her dragon with her brother in the wreckage. Suddenly, Spike started to glow and change size. Soon he was in a Spike Zilla form, except he was much taller than Ella. What? Chase asked in surprise. He can grow too? That's right, Twilight said. Now you'll see what a real Megan for Mega form can do. Ella, take him out quick, Chase shouted. Ella immediately charged at the two giants collided. The battle lasted for two minutes until Humdrum got an idea. Hey guys, remember the saying, the bigger they are, the harder they fall? Now is not the time to catchphrase that, Colt, Rainbow Dash shouted. Wait, Twilight started. I think the kid might be onto something. Spike, make that pup tip over and keep her down. Spike quickly grabbed Ella and placed her down, refusing to let the golden retriever go. Woo, yes, we did it, Humdrum shouted excitement. Cozy couldn't watch anymore. Stop hurting my friends, Cozy yelled, spinning towards Twilight. What? Twilight turned only to be met with the most painful punch to the face to ever received. Ow! Cozy then bucked Twilight with her forelegs, knocking her down. Chase and Sky had to get Cozy clo You need to get Cozy out of there now, Ryder ordered for the radio. On it, Cozy Chase said. Cozy, come on, it's time to go. But what about the others? Cozy asked with worry. We'll be fine, Marshall said. We'll keep them from following you. Cozy nodded and followed Chase and Sky to the hangar. Star Starlight tried to keep to stop them, but it was tackled to the ground by Azuma. 
Soon they got up to the jet and they put on the autopilot and set to their destination. When it took off, Twilight tried to fly after it, but it was too fast. No! Twilight shouted. She only descended to meet up with her friends. Girls, they got away! After that, the remaining member of the Paw Patrol team surrounded by the group, bearing teeth. Twilight lit up her horn and they teleported away. Where did they go? Rocky asked. I don't know, Ryder said, but at least Cozy, Chase, and Sky got away. Pups returned to lookout. Soon Twilight and her friends were at the beach where Spike met Alex. So what now? Rainbow asked. Twilight didn't know how to answer, but she did know that they had to hurry. Cozy's young life depended on it, and that was when Twilight noticed that there was some hair on her hoof. And when she looked at it, she realized it was Cozy's hair, and she got an idea. Girls, I know what I have to do, but I need to do it alone, Twilight said. It's time for me to fix what I broke. Eventually, Chase, Sky, and Cozy found an island that landed there. Afterwards, Cozy began to feel a little guilty that her friends could have got hurt because of her. After a couple of hours, the trio found a forest area and they searched for food, and they found plenty of fruits to enjoy them, but Cozy decided to start a conversation. Guys, I'm sorry I brought you into this net mess, Cozy apologized. Twilight and her friends might be after you for helping me. Well, we know the others will be fine, Sky said. Besides, they, if, you, if, I, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to meet my ideals. Plus, we are a team and you're a family to us, Chase said with a smile. No matter what happens, we'll always be here for you. Cozy began to tear up. Thanks, guys. The pups just embraced the filly as they began to tap their paws. The ground then continued, the group continued to embrace until Cozy spoke again. It's great to have a real fam, friends and family. I guess you really did chase, change. The trio turned to the shock. Standing there, it was Twilight. Cozy, please don't flee. I swear I won't do anything to harm you. How much do you know? Chase asked. How long were you here? I know everything. I use a spell to see Cozy's thoughts and feelings, Twilight answered. I've also been there a few times less than, than you have. But how did you manage to find us? I had a bit of Cozy's mane and I used a DNA a, to tracking spell to find you. Skyface palmed herself for not thinking that possibility. Cozy, I am going to blame you for misunderstanding friendship. I would have stood up for you and tried to convince Celestia how to show mercy instead I let you suffer. Twilight began to cry as tears slid down her face. Cozy, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Cozy then began to cry as well and quickly embraced the alicorn. Of course, Twilight. You do care. Cozy sobbed. I let my anger get to me for leaving you, but now I... I... I forgive you. Twilight sniffled in response. So thank you, Cozy. Sky began sobbing as Chase tried to comfort her. Can you come back to Equestria now? We, we want you to be spared from Celestia's wrath. Cozy nodded. Can the Paw Patrol visit every now and then? Of course, Cozy. Twilight turned to Chase in the sky. Thank you for taking care of her. No problem, Your Majesty, Chase said. Yeah, it was a blast, Sky added. What about our friends and, our, and your friends? The Paw Patrol are fine. My friends and I are waiting back in Equestria, Twilight answered before opening a portal. Bye, Cozy, Chase said. Come back and visit. Cozy nodded and stepped in for the portal with Twilight. So Cozy had been reinformed as they got a new family, and things couldn't have been better. Equestria's greatest stories. Huh? What the hell? The sp main six spike? Or oh, are they in the dungeon? What's going on? Oh, oh, no. Get away. No, no. Cozy couldn't believe Twilight asked her for her forgiveness, and now they were heading back to Equestria to begin Cozy's new life. Eventually, the two ponies landed right in front of Canterlot Castle, where they're about to tell Celestia the news. We're here, Twilight said. Are you ready? Cozy was a little nervous. She had done some pretty bad things, and she had a feeling that she wouldn't be forgiven. Twilight, I'm still a little worried, Cozy said. What if Celestia still hates me? Don't worry, Cozy. I'll stand up for you. Cozy nodded as she went inside, and they noticed something odd, though. They didn't appear to be any guest anywhere. Where? Soon they got to Twilight's room, and Celestia was waiting back for them. Celestia smiled as the ponies approached. Welcome back, Twilight, Celestia greeted. I see you succeeded in getting Cozy here. Yeah, I did, Celestia, Twilight confirmed. She's sorry for everything, and she's already made a new group of friends called the Paw Patrol. Twilight looked around. Hey, where are the guards? And where are my friends? That doesn't matter now, Twilight. Celestia turned to her, Cozy. Cozy Glow, you've turned yourself around and saw the error of your ways, and you've even become a hero in protecting the innocent. I am really sorry, Celestia, Cozy said. I'll do whatever it does to make it up to everyone. 
Well, so cozy. I have one thing to say. Celestia smiled and turned into a huge grin. Say hello, hello to Sombra. Right after saying that, Twilight Celestia blasts Cozy into the wall, nearly knocking her out. Cozy! Twilight shouted in shock when fright. Celestia, what are you doing? What should have been done a long time ago? Celestia grinned. Did you really think I was really going to spare Cozy? Please, as Luna did. This filly isn't worth the dirt in our hooves. Her soul is just what I wanted all along. You lied to us, Twilight said in betrayal. Of course I lied to you, Celestia responded before rap tapping Twilight in the magic hoof with the proof of force field. I knew you would eventually feel bad for this pathetic foal, but I wasn't going to let it get in my way. Celestia then turned back to Kozu, who stared in fear. I learned of your escape. I knew Twilight would be able to bring you back so I could use her, as well as her friends to and the guards. Twilight's eyes widened. What did you do to them? They're in my dungeon, waiting to have their souls consumed, Twi Aunt Celestia answered. Right now, Cozy's soul has the powers of thousands, and it's what I need to be finally be, be complete. Now you have the decision to make Cozy surrender your soul to me, or thousands of creatures will lose their life. lives. Twilight gave Cozy a look and said, don't do it, and Cozy just stood there thinking. The whole time, Celestia was using Twilight and her friends and tools to get her to her soul. But she didn't remember her, the suffering in the stone prison, and she knew that if she didn't do something, everyone would suffer. And so she stood up and looked at Celestia. All right, I've decided. Will you, you, you two be the ones who perishes? Celestia wasn't amused. A foolish decision, it's Twilight, she said. Cozy just glared at her. You've been using Twilight and her friends for your own dirty work. Even if I have to give you my soul, you'll just continue to make others suffer and just take their lives. I won't let that happen. I am going to stop you. Celestia just laughed darkly. <laughs> you and what army, she said. At the moment when the group was barking outside the door, Cozy grinned and turned back to see Celestia. This army. The Paw Patrol then burst out through the doors and had their gear on, wearing the wor works of determination. We're here to help, Cozy, Sky said. Like we said, no one gets left behind or forgotten. The pups howled in agreement, and Celestia just gritted her teeth in anger. <sighs> Paw Patrol... Cozy then began before flying over next to Chase, is on a roll.